What up peeps, Mr. Bones here for the Fright Tube, and I'm going to talk about Blood Widow. This uh, was a pretty good little film, seemed low budget, but it was an alright film. It had a, a cool slasher, as you can see in the pictures, and uh, lots of killing. As I said, it seemed low budget. The cast wasn't too likable, but I guess that's what you like in a slasher. If you don't like the actors, you get to watch them get taken out. And uh, not a whole lot of storyline. This young couple get them a home in a secluded area. There's only one other house next to it, which is the house where the killer stays. Which is supposed to be like a abandoned... Uh, border house I forgot what it's called where uh, kids stay <clears throat> and apparently some young girl who wasn't all there went crazy and killed some people and she still resides there and so the young couple the boyfriend, fiance, whatever, decides to invite a few friends to celebrate the new house. And the uh, dumb friends think, first thing they think is, let's go check out that creepy house over there. And then uh, they leave, go back to the other house, they have a party, and just slowly start getting picked off by the blood widow couple get killed at the party uh, one girl like a weird hippie girl that likes to draw and she gets wasted on some drug and decides to wander off to that house by herself and just kick it light some candles listen to some music pulls out a little Buddha statue and the widow shows up and kills her she just smiling and goes over and tries to touch her mask and she stabs her in the gut and twists a knife and pours her guts on the floor and uh, eventually the widow finds her way over at the party and starts taking them all out for some reason she takes the girl the main girl of the couple home and ties her up and tortures her Turns from like a slasher to like hostile shit, sort of. Has her chained up. She has some kind of crazy whip with a bunch of strands on it with like little fish hooks on the end. Just standing there taking pictures and slapping her in the legs with it. Pulling her skin off. She goes back to the party. She gets a hold of the fiance, slaps him in the face with that thing and yanks his face right off. Some Hellraiser type shit. So, like I said, not much story. Um, simple recipe for a slasher. Lots of gory, good kills. The girl, the main girl, ends up getting loose and trying to fight back. She gets a few hits in, but she, she you know, can't defeat her. She, They all end up dying eventually. It was a pretty good little slasher. Worth a, a watch worth checking out once and uh, that's my review for this week peace